What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to crop and scale videos inside of Premiere Pro. Super simple, super beginner, but I know sometimes people ask, so let's learn how to do it. Now, right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the content. You can also check down the description for the Discord, Twitter, and Instagram links. And if you like the song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have cool music for your videos too. So here we have this drone footage that I filmed over a lake. It's pretty cool stuff, but it's 4K clip currently. And we want to learn how to scale and crop this image for a, another sequence or something like that. So um, let's go to the new sequence right here, which is a 1080p sequence. I'm going to drag and drop this footage into here. As you can see, it's going to be too big for this. It's zoomed in. So here's the other one. It's, you know, the full thing. And this one is zoomed in. So what we're going to have to do is scale this smaller to fit this image. Now, you, be, you may be scaling up to make an image larger, but in this case, you want to scale it down. So let's go to Window and then Effect Controls. Mine's already open, but it's going to find it for me really quick. If yours is not checked, this will make it appear. So I click this, and here this is. I currently have the clip selected, so it actually shows it over here, all the little properties and whatnot. If I unclick it, it's gone. Click it, it's back. So we can see the scale is currently set to 100%. Um, what I need to do is actually scale this down to fit the 1080p sequence, just like that. And it's going to be 50% to fit it perfectly. Now, you may be doing a zoom edit or a WebEx edit, and your clip automatically starts at like you know this size or something, like a video recording of somebody, and you need to scale it up to make it fit the image. That's fine. Just go to your scale. It'll be set to 100 or something like that. You can easily scale it past 100% to fit the image. Now I just want it to fit, so let's do 50%. Now what we want to do is actually crop the image. How do we crop something? Um, I want to crop this boat right here, let's say that. So let's go to Window uh, Effects right here, opens up this, and let's type crop. Find the crop in, uh, transform and crop. Drag crop onto the clip, that's where the effects, and we'll go back to Effect Controls, which is now docked right here, and we have this new thing called crop. What we can do, as you can see, you have these four properties. Left, crop it from the left, uh, crop it from the top, crop it from the right. I'm also undoing as I go, just to undo the effects, and then crop it from the bottom. That's one way to do it, just by cropping the box. We can easily crop down to this boat, or if you're cropping out an interviewee from a Zoom recording or something like that, that would totally work. And here that is. It's going to disappear, obviously, because of that. Or what you can do is use this little pen tool right here, Free Draw Bezier. So what you can do is just draw around this really easily, and nothing happened. But what we need to do is actually crop it out. So let's grab the left and just drag it across. It's going to make it go away. See, we cropped out the boat by doing that. Or if we do inverted, we'll crop out everything else. And now have this nice uh, boat on its own, just like that. And from here, you could easily feather the tool right here, mask feather. Let's spread this out so you can see. See mask feather, we can feather it just like that. You could uh, do the opacity to make the old one kind of be there and you know stuff like that. You can kind of play around from here. Let's get rid of uh, this, this mask path right here we just drew. You can also use um, and uncrop the left so we can actually see the image again. Um, we can also uh, do this little create four point polygon mask like so really easily. Then you can do the same thing as before, crop across, invert it, all the same stuff, no big deal. And there's all these other tools like uh, the circle one as well. You can grab this, you can just click it to do that, or you can, and you can just click and drag the sides to make it bigger, no big deal, stuff like this. Now we've cropped out a circle Let's uh, crop it from the left, let's invert it, and then just feather it like crazy. You can do way more than this. You could type in a thousand if you really wanted to. And now it's like a, some kind of cool effect. So that is how you scale and crop inside of Premiere Pro. Super simple, super easy to do. I hope this helps. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for uh, being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.